Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some 101 basics on the camp shelters. Um, I'm going to show you some things that I've learned um, and just to get you started, uh, on consoles uh, the floors in the camp are glitched at the moment but um, I'm going to try and work around those uh, until they fix them right. So for those that haven't started, I didn't make a video on how to get the camp shelter started. Just go to any train station and there is a poster on the wall um and then you'll get a mini glitch which they said they did that so that it can be kind of part of the lore and I, I believe in nuclear winter there will be uh some reference to to the camp shelters and how they suddenly appeared in the game anyway so once you get the mini glitch you head up to vault 51 and then uh you should be able to um build some camp shelters, uh, camp shelters. So once you're in the game, you can um, go into your build menu and you will notice there is now a, a, a tab for shelters. And you can place these, these shelters, they're just little entrances anywhere in your camp. You can place some, you can place some multiple ones, they go to the same one. You can only have one of each type, utility, and then later on when they actually bring in additional uh, types of shelters, uh, they will uh, allow you to have those as well. Anyway, so let's get started um, and let's talk about some of the, the basic stuff to get building. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use mine for yet, but um, I've definitely seen some videos uh, of ideas. So first of all, as we come into the vault, uh, there's this little uh, a control panel in the box which will allow you to repair all your structures. Um, you can do PvP in your shelter, so you could destroy stuff and then um, if you are doing PvP, you know, other players can actually destroy stuff, so keep that in mind. Um, so this is obviously a utility uh, shelter that we all get for free. It's it's not a bad space, it doesn't have the height of course, and once we get the, the additional shelters, it's going to be different. Um, and that this is just really a teaser type shelter, as you could probably imagine. But looking at um, this initial, looking at this initial uh, floor plan, you'll notice one thing. Um, it's not as obvious, but this blue area is kind of the building area, right? Um, so if you don't want to build with walls, you can probably go over the blue area a little bit. Uh, and kind of just build around them. Uh, it does get tricky. It is glitched at the moment on consoles or bugged, whatever you want to call it, if you try to put a floor down, it doesn't actually, it's supposed to snap to this blue area and replace the floor. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do that, right? So if we go ahead here and we try and put a floor down, let me show you what happens. It's supposed to actually snap into this grid, yeah, but it doesn't actually snap into the grid. You'll notice it's kind of glitching, and what happens is it actually snaps um, kind of off to the side instead of actually snapping to the snapper or area, which is this blue area, um, and it just doesn't do it properly, right? So, so unfortunately, until they fix that, and who knows when they'll fix that, but I assume at some point they will fix that, and then basically what you probably want to do is you want to actually snap them into the floor. The other issue, unfortunately, is uh, even if you had to put them at the top here, they don't actually, you can't actually put uh, three or four, you can put three in a row, but you can't actually put four, so uh, you can't actually fill the, the sides out properly. Um, so you kind of only can build sort of three by three, I guess, or three, three across down this area and right up to this area over here, and then you'll have this kind of area at the back here or along the side which isn't too bad because if you actually do build walls which we will do in a sec i'll show you how to do that um then you have that space you can connect power conduits right um the other thing you want to notice is you can go into a toggle or non-toggle mode uh, if you don't want to place something down um in this case we probably want to go into let's see if we can get this
we can get it to snap, yeah. Might just be new, new, new builds, I guess. Yeah, for some reason, you, if you have a stored, if you have a stored item, it doesn't let you just turn that toggle off. They're probably gonna work out, out a bunch of bugs and stuff. But if you turn, uh, if you notice in, in down below, you can actually turn uh, snapping off and on, which is kind of neat because uh, it allows you to do stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to do, right? Uh, if I turn that off, I can obviously place it anyway, any way I want. Um, if I wanted to do something like, um, let's grab some lights for instance, uh, let's say we had these guys. Now, because I have snapping off, I could just place it here in the middle of the air. So we, we all the, a lot of the restrictions that you have with the caps, camps upstairs or above the ground, obviously you have those restrictions, have to be, can't be floating, think crazy things like this. Down here, you, you have a lot of restrictions removed. You can be a lot of, uh, more creative downstairs uh, in, 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 the, in the shelter, which is kind of cool, right? Um, so you can do stacking. You can do all sorts of things if you had some, if you wanted to create some, uh, let's say you want to create some tables that look like pillars, for instance. Uh, you can stack them on each other. Um, And you wouldn't be able to do this in your camps upstairs uh, necessarily. And you create create all sorts of pillars and creative designs and stuff right down, down here. So anyway, let's let's get started. Uh, I want to show you guys that do have problems and trying to figure out the flaws and things like that. In terms of power, you can either put your own generator or they do have uh, what they call generators. If you go into the generator tab. You'll notice uh, a new item, build item, yeah, uh, if it allows us to build, I don't actually have copper there. Um, but this will allow us to actually uh, build um, some additional power. Unfortunately, it doesn't extend very far, right? So the problem with, with this, of course, is um, you're gonna need a whole bunch of these, which is fine. Like if we start building around and leaving a gap over, we're gonna just put a whole bunch of those down. Um, and then, you, you know, you can extend the power or you can actually just build, uh, you know, a large generator. I've definitely seen uh, some shelters already that have the larger generator down here. A again, depends on what you want to do down here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet. Uh, I'm probably just going to build like a sort of a bunker area and stuff like that for now. But uh, we'll, we'll get into that um, and I, as 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 we we start building. But I do want to sort of just cover the basics, uh, get the floors up, get the walls up, and then you know uh, I'll probably end up scrapping it at some point. But um, anyway, so if you guys do have an issue with uh, um, not being able, if you do don't don't want to use the bottom floors. And you want to actually build some decent floors like I do want to, I want to build uh, what I recommend you do is you come to this end corner yeah uh, which is the back of the, the utility room of course and of course I have um, you'll notice this little square area that's kind of looks like a, a square or marked off area if you will uh, we're gonna start there and what we want to do is we want to place this um, right on the corner. Try and get it as close as you can. And this is only if you want floors. If you don't want floors, you can just ignore this, fast forward the video. Uh, but uh, you know, if you want to have sort of atomic shop floors until they until they fix it, um, we have to do this. That's the only way you can do it. Otherwise, just cover the floors with carpets or make 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 something um, I mean it does look okay without walls but it also looks kind of cool with walls but anyway I'm gonna start with walls so place it as, as close as you can to the corner and as straight as possible no, we're probably not gonna get that any more straighter there Okay, so once you've done that first floor, I think that's just probably as good as I'm going to get. Uh, once you've done that first floor, we're going to build another floor, but we're going to toggle the snap the snap grid back on. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to put toggle snapping back on. I like to always have them facing the same way just in case some of the floors you decide you know you want to use a different texture and then you don't want to have to kind of mess around with it too much right okay so let's just continue we're going to just continue doing this to all the floors Okay. Just kind of work yourself around the room. Now another note is currently uh, wallpapers that you don't own uh, are available to you. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to uh, be available, uh, but you basically can use wallpapers for free. Obviously use them at your own risk. They might come and just remove them or they might let you keep them. And then, um, let's just store that one. And then, um, you know, anything you won't be able to build anymore. So just kind of be careful of that. Just kind of know that it is kind of, available uh, mostly for free at the moment right okay so there you go you've got we've got our standard unfortunately we can't do too much with the entrance here if you're just using those regular falls if you want to you can cover it up but you can create the you know probably a, a crafting area or a defense area turrets whatever we'll, we'll figure out we'll see where we go okay now that we have the floor yeah let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace these with some nicer looking floors and I'll probably kind of come back and change these around. But I'm just going to go with uh, these floors for the moment. I'm going to store that for the moment. Now you can also lock uh, lock your um, you lock your shelter from above so no one can enter. But you can also lock this door here as well. So if we go ahead and and go get doors, there is a new sort of sliding door that comes with your shelter. Uh, you can actually go ahead and lock this guy as well. If you don't want anyone to enter this guy, you can go ahead and lock it just like you would normally. Um, we can open this door. Like you could make this sort of just maybe a crafting or a sleep area if you wanted, or you wanted a private room, yeah, if you really wanted to do that. Uh, you do have that option to actually lock it, um, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, some people are going to want private space. Okay, so we've got these floors down, and uh, as you see, it covers most of the blue area. So before you start building, like getting all too creative, I guess, uh, make sure that you've kind of, it all works, and you can put walls and stuff if that's what you want to do. 
Uh, I, I have actually built uh, tests around and then I've, I've kind of, when I started messing around initially, I built too close to the wall and then I couldn't actually put walls. But as you can see, there's a decent gap around the edges. It's a bit of a wasted space, but you're going to see how we're going to kind of use it a little bit or just make use of it when we start playing with the power. Um, but like I said, you can you can put power and, and, and stuff all over the place or you can run generators or you can even float generators if you want, if that's kind of what you want to do, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting um, some walls here. And just kind of note your camp. This is a separate instant um, uh, area. You can't bring items from your camp above uh, down here. You can't store them above and think it's going to be available. I have tested that and, of course, I didn't expect it to work. But, you know, being kind of neat if it did. Um, and there are sort of limited things. You can't do certain things you can't do down here, such as crops. Um, your Brahmin vendors, things like that. I think it's uh, to do with duping and, and, and stuff like that. And they're probably trying to prevent that or just prevent new ways for, for them to dupe or something crazy like that. Uh, who, who knows why uh, you can't do it. But anyway, uh, there's certain things, things like your fridge. I mean, you know, if you're going to make a nice little kitchen then, yeah, you're not going to have access to your fridge, which is unfortunate. Uh, so maybe hopefully one day they'll bring those back. Uh, who knows, right? So, okay, so there are some new walls that we, we do get uh, with your camp. It doesn't come with any doors, but uh, it's these walls. Uh, they're not necessarily pretty, but they're very much vault. So if, you know, the vault from, vault tech from, from Fallout 4, they look like that. I mean, they're not terrible, um, but, you know, it's, it's not probably as nice as you might want. But, uh, so we, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place these around... And like I said, make sure they kind of uh, fit around there, just so you know um, when you start start building that you don't have to come back and redo it, right? You can use regular walls. It doesn't have to be those. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day what wall, especially if you can start using wallpaper. Obviously, if you don't have wallpaper, you've got a new character that doesn't have that, then yeah, the wall's going to make a difference. Uh, these other walls do use, I think, concrete, so it is cheaper to use probably wood. Uh, so we'll put that in there. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, but let's go back. Uh, oh, we've got some extra ones here. Might as well use them. And we're going to want to put wallpaper here. The back of it doesn't really matter too much unless you're creating a room. And unfortunately, uh, again, it doesn't... It doesn't help if you, I don't think it helps to create that uh, double-sided look. Um, There's just probably a way to do both sides. Someone can tell me how to do that. It's not something I normally do. Okay, so we've got that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead at this point and create, um, put some wallpaper on here. So it starts looking more like a downstairs. I'm going to use the stone wall here. But use whatever wallpaper you want. And like I said, uh, I'll show you what I mean by these two wallpapers I don't own. And as you can see, I can use both these wallpapers down here. Um, and uh, the, these are the Atomic Short Store items, I believe. Wallpapers. Um, so you, you, you'll be able to build with them if you want. But like I said, just be careful. Because uh, if you delete it or remove it, or they might remove it as well, right? So... So these ones I do own, so I'm not worried about these ones. And like I said, that's why it doesn't really matter in terms of, uh, you know, wood or using the, the the ones they supplied. But there you go. We've got a we've got a relatively decent room so far uh, over here. Um, and and as I said, now you have this the this little area behind that you can build stuff. Because, uh, you know, if you want to hide wires and stuff, you don't want wires to kind of mess up your your kind of area uh, too much. Um, you know, that's going to come into uh, come into play in a little bit, right? Now, I think you can also build uh, just this area. Yeah, you can actually build this door. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, I believe you can just actually build a door if you want it. There's no point. But if you went into non-toggle, non I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm not going to do that, but uh, that door has no support structure at all. And it will, uh, it will, it will actually uh, 
uh, stand on its own. And I think the regular doors as well, like these doors, yeah, you can do the same thing. Again, not much point, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you could do that with no with no actually uh, support structure, right? So there might be uses that we'll find that you can find use uses around that, right? Um, what I'm going to do here is just to kind of give it, try and give it a bit of a close off here. Um, so let's go ahead and put a door frame. So like I said, the walls don't come with, these new walls don't come with any sort of door frame. So you're going to have to use something else uh, to actually do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this here if we can. It allows us, I'm going to toggle back on there. Okay. Okay, let's go put the doors here. Now, I mean, this roof doesn't look too bad. I mean, I don't particularly mind. It kind of gives it some character uh, if you want. Um, but what you could do as well uh, is you can actually put a roof. Now, you know, you could either put, I guess, if you have the glass floors, uh, you could put lights on the roof. I've seen kind of both, and they both look pretty good. Um, so let's let's take a quick look here. Um, so I think it's under floors, if I'm correct. Was it under roofs? But there we go. So yeah, you can actually do, as you can see, we've got lights there. Uh, and you look up, you can have that sort of lighting effect. Otherwise, you can just use a regular roof as well. Uh, to uh, block it completely off and then you'd have kind of a, a kind of maybe a cleaner look if you will I, I don't know which one's kind of better there um, I sort of like them both I, th I think I'm probably gonna go with for now the glass the glass roofs um, they just kind of look maybe a little bit nicer I, mean, I do like the fact that you can float stuff and you don't have those limitations. That's kind of cool. Uh, I think those will look lower, do they? Or not? So there you go, uh, pretty decent. Um, so let, let's let's do the lights. I'm gonna have to go upstairs and get some coffee here quick because I doubt I'm gonna be able to build a chemistry workbench down here, but let's take a quick look. Yeah, it's just because I'm out of coffee anyway. I knew it wasn't gonna allow me to, to build that. I should probably put on my um, contractor perk anyway. Now these camps, I mean, you can see this as an extension of your camp. You want more budget upstairs, you can move sort of, you know, some things down into your shelter. Like, so let's say you moved all your crafting station downstairs and that gives you more room upstairs to build. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some use cases where you can try and save um, some space uh, for your camp. So think of it more of an extension of your camp uh, versus, uh, you know, just a new one. But they are separate. They are instanced. Um, so unfortunately you can't link the two together in any possible way, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna craft some some copy out quick.
Yeah, that should probably be enough. Now you can also put uh, entrances inside your utility room. So once you get the other felt, uh, the other shelters, you can actually put it downstairs as well. So you don't actually have to exit your utility room, for instance, and you can actually um, you can actually build it downstairs as well, right? Okay. So let me, let me show you what I was talking about. The power, yeah, quick. Okay. Let me actually just put the contractor perk on just in case it saves me some. Some resources here. Okay, so we don't want to run too many wires if we can avoid it. And this is where these little corridors are going to come into use. Um, so let's go ahead and build some of these quick. Where was it? Generators, I think, right? Okay, so we're going to build these here quick. Okay, and I believe you have to actually connect a conduit to it. You can just stick it right on it and just connect the two together. Okay, so I'm just going to show you quick if you've done that. So let's say we wanted to build a light here. Um, let's see if we can build something like, uh, I think this will probably do, because I'll probably end up building this anyway. Okay, so we built a light there. Um, I bet you, let's see how far we can extend it. Okay, that one, not bad. Let's see, let's pull it over here. Okay, so you can see that one doesn't light up, unfortunately. It does actually get pretty fire, which is kind of cool. Oh, that one doesn't light up either. But we had one over here that did actually light up there. So those two are pretty are pretty bad. So uh, in order to to sort this out, we're going to just put a whole bunch of these around, and then you you can avoid having wires. Uh, probably for most of the things, you might have to still do something for a wire. But let let's see what we can do without needing wires. So again, we're going to go back to generators, and we're going to put a bunch of these uh, on the walls here, right? You can just put them... Uh, Now, you, the, the budget down here is about one and a half times what you have upstairs. So you got a lot of budget, I think, um, to be able to fall down here. I don't think you, I mean, I'm sure we're going to hit it. We always do, right? Uh, but I think you'll be stretched to actually use that budget. Yeah, I might just actually go ahead and just do this. might just be quick if I... Run down here and do this. Just put a bunch of these down here. Okay. Probably should be enough. Hmm. Nothing like that. I don't know why you actually need to do this. This seems kind of silly, right? I mean, you should be able to just put that generator on the wall and it should be able to um, project that sort of 
power area or whatever that radius is without you having to to do that, right? Okay, we'll probably have to come back, maybe put a few more there. But anyway, so as you can see, those are all lit up there quite nicely. Um, and let's see if we put some more lights here. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Let's actually put one. Yeah, I bet you this one might not work. Yeah, I was expecting that one to work. So we could just, you know, put one close by. Yeah. Oh, I kind of saw that come on. There you go. So, you know, just, just that alone is, is a pretty decent uh, design. Um, you know, quite, quite. Let me just actually go into photo mode here quick. You know, pretty decent sized room um, area. And you can do some kind of neat stuff here. Um, you know, build a bedroom if you want. Uh, you know, kind of area, and it looks it looks pretty classy. But again, I mean, it depends on what you want to build. If you want to maybe you want to do it more rough. Uh, it really depends if you just want like a coffee bar or kind of a bar area, kitchen area. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, I'm sure we're gonna get come up with some some kind of cool creations to do that. But anyway, let let's continue. I just kind of wanted to cover the power and the floors and the walls and the. The roof and just kind of for those that are beginning to do this and haven't tried to uh, having trouble figuring that stuff out uh you know just to kind of show you how to do that so so um i'm just going to continue uh um you know see what i what i what i what i want to create down here um so i think what i'm going to do and again i'm probably going to mix it up or, or scrap this at some point um Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead here. Um, go walls here. We should create these one by one uh, little, little sort of houses in Fallout 4, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's go down here. Well, I definitely had that plan. Uh, I know for a fact, <laughs> and I know people are losing plans, so that's just confirming that as well, which is unfortunate. I built that all the time. Anyway, we'll just have to go find that plan again. Hopefully I haven't lost too many plans.
And the wall door, the, way, the, the pictures on that stick quite nicely onto uh, the walls and stuff. to pull some hay down here. Okay, I'm just gonna build some couches here. Stash boxes.
So you will find the ones you're looking for when you're looking for them. Yeah, I'm definitely missing plans. Um, oh, maybe not. Kind of looking for that couch. Into sex. So I guess in that case, you can kind of turn. Oh, it still doesn't let me, even though I toggled off. Eh? Cannot place uh, into sex with existing object. That's interesting that they kind of. They allow you to place it up, but not on the carpet. Weird. Okay, let's see. Tables. Yeah, it's interesting I've lost these two plans. Weird, eh? Alright, what can we do? Let's me put a table there on the carpet. Okay, so we've done that. A little, so we've got a little bedroom area going there. Um, let's build kind of like a kitchen area. I know a lot of people build like little bar areas and stuff. I mean, you know, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, or a little crafting area, stuff like that. I think I'll just probably, in this case, I'm going to probably, uh, this will be kind of my main living space. And then I'll probably build this area up as kind of the crafting area um, for, the, for, the, for this build. Um, and just kind of have this as kind of the, the main kind of living space type area. Actually, let's put a TV there if we can. It's interesting, it's kind of picky with that carpet though. Maybe they kind of moved stuff around and hidden them to different areas compared to where we're expecting them to be, right? All right. Um,
So I know you can't build, you can't build the, the one thing you can't build, let's go to crafting here quick. Um, so you'll notice, um, oh, so you can build the crafting station, but you can't build the, the fermenter, right? Again, I think it's to do with, with, um, with the duping or, or whatever the decision around that is, right? All right, at least we could build this. That's kind of cool. Uh, I thought we couldn't build that. I was expecting both of them to, to not be there. But the fact we can build that is okay, I guess. Okay, so let's go, yeah, so we can, can never find the stuff I'm looking for when I'm looking for it, right? Okay, let's put this here. I was worried we weren't going to be able to build stash boxes down here, and it's like, what's the point, right? Something else into sex. I'm actually on. Hmm. I couldn't actually tell if it was on or not.
So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if we can. Let's put that away for a moment. Can we actually? Because we have this low light hanging roof. Wonder if it's going to allow us to actually put a the roof back on there, right? I mean, in theory, it should, but oh, it doesn't like that. That's kind of silly, right? But yeah, I was wondering if it would allow us to put that back on there, right? I guess that answers my question. So if you want a light on the table, we may have to, I mean, I don't want to run wires. Let's see how, how far we can actually bring it. Well, that's kind of where it was, right? That's kind of weird. It's working now and it didn't before. Still kind of not quite sent, I suppose. Hmm, weird. Okay, so let's put the roof back. Let us put it back. And why is it doesn't like us putting it back? Because it's stored, I think oh, that's kind of silly, right? That you can't toggle that on, right? Um, like if it's stored, it doesn't seem like you can actually toggle back on. There's probably a trick around there that I'm I'm just not doing or or kind of working on there, right? Type thing, right? Mm 
So that's kind of, um, you know, I'll probably keep on adding stuff to this. Uh, another trick that I, that you can do if you like, uh, one of the things that um, you can see these corners aren't unfortunately closed, they don't really connect as well. So if you don't like those corners, one thing you can do is you can add some, uh, there we go, yeah, two stairs, just on the stairs. Gives it kind of a, let's see if I can do this. You can put these poles there to kind of cover it up a little bit. Gives it kind of more of a, Again, depends on the design, but I mean, again, it gives you that kind of finished look there if you want. Okay, and then, yeah, like I said, in the front here, you can make this whatever you want. Uh, I've heard people making this as trap entrances and things like that. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, you can close these doors, yeah. Um, I'm gonna probably just make it like a crafting area. I mean, I mean, you can put quite a lot once you start putting your crafting stations. Yeah, uh, you know, so if we go, yeah, again, it's all separate than upstairs. If you wanted your own little area, yeah, you could do that. Uh, you can make it like a little defense area if you want as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is probably just make it a crafting area. You used to be able to put these inside there, right? Um, and then they stopped at some point. Let's see if we can turn this off. Yeah, it still doesn't. I think there's a way you can actually glitch it in there. Interesting. Entry. No, oh, there we go. I thought I wouldn't let me put it there because of the door there, maybe. This is where I'll put that there.
<laughs> I think with all of that. Uh, sometimes it works with that, and sometimes it doesn't, right? Must be a little glitchy there, right? So I make a little crafting area uh, in the front here. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it. It's been uh, it's been an hour. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be too long, but there you go. So hopefully you, you found that uh, useful. Uh, you know, I think we'll come up with a lot of different ideas, different themes. Uh, you know, lots of lots of uh, different ideas, um, little bars and private little spaces that people will, will create. So it's gonna be interesting to see what what people come up with. Um, like you said, it's it's a small space, but it's a decent amount of space. Uh, this at least this utility one is. Um, I'm sure we are going to see uh, obviously the atrium and and um, the the medium one, whatever I forget what it's called. Um, I'm sure they're going to be uh, uh, pretty interesting to actually see. Let's go kind of show you what I've done here quick. And as you see, I just did this quickly. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll come up and I'll decorate a little bit more.
All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Thank you.